For the first time ever, this is Remote Play on the Nintendo Switch. Let's do it. Hey there, my name is James and I'm the Technical Community Manager here at Parsec. And a couple months ago, I started brainstorming about ways I could push Parsec to the limits. And I just bought a Nintendo Switch and I thought, how cool would it be if I could have my friends log in and play Mario Kart with me? And it had never been done before. I hadn't seen it anywhere. So I started researching and after a bunch of challenges and waiting for things to arrive off eBay that I didn't even know would work, I finally got it going and I've got it for you here now. Uh, let me get one of my members of the crew over and we're going to play some two player. So um, my crew over here and uh, he's called Jason. He's going to pick up the controller and he pretend he's away from home at the moment, but I'm at home with the uh, Nintendo Switch. So I'm going to slide out my um, Joy-Cons and he's going to start a new game um, by pressing the B key on the Xbox controller and going through there and then going to Grand Prix. And uh, yep, 100cc looks good. Cool, and I'm gonna pick a character. Oh, I'm gonna approve my controller. So now both controls are showing up. I'm gonna press OK. And I'm gonna back out of that one. Cool. And I think you need to go back as well. Cool, we're all good now. Great, so you can pick a person. I'm gonna go this little rascal over here. Cool, and I'm gonna approve my thing. Sweet, awesome, we're good to go. And let's just go to the default. Sweet. Let's do it. So, I mean, now Jason, he's going over the network. He's totally separate from this. So he's going through the uh, Parsec, up to this workstation, uh, through the network, and into the switch. So uh, let's, uh, let's do it. And I'm obviously, uh, pretend I'm in the couch in front of the switch. Cool, alrighty. So the race is on, let's do it. Okay, and three, two, one, and alrighty, let's go. Now I'm not at the best vantage point here, but I'm just gonna give it a go and have a look what's going on. Oh, yes. All right, let me see what I've got there. I can fire these bad boys. Cool. Awesome. I <gasps> know oh, I got hit a banana, I think. But yeah, as you can see, two players can just jump on in and, and play nice and smoothly. And, um, you know, it really means that, you know, if Jason was in a different city or even a different uh, country, he could log in and, and play a great game with me. So, super cool. All right, so this is all the hardware you need to get set up. We've got our gaming rig, we've got our client machine with an Xbox controller, we've got our Nintendo Switch, and all the accessories we need. So, uh, let's get into it. So, the first thing you need to do is get the Nintendo Switch and plug that into the dock. Um, we need the HDMI cable to come out, and we're gonna take that HDMI cable and we're gonna plug that into the Elgato capture card that we have in our gaming rig. So normally you'd plug this into a TV, of course, but we need to capture that video onto the gaming rig. So we're gonna put the HDMI cable into the input of the Elgato card. And of course we need the input to go to an output in order for the switch to show anything on the screen. But I don't wanna plug it into a TV, so I've got this uh, Fit 4K headless HDMI dongle, and I'm gonna put that into the output of the Elgato card. Right, so that's in there. And here's where the kind of hacky magic starts to happen. So what I have here is a uh, Brook adapter. And this is used to get your Xbox 360 controller to show up as a pro controller on the Nintendo Switch. Um, but of course, we're not gonna be in the phys same physical location as the um, Nintendo Switch. So we need to get another, another dongle involved to help get these controls come from the PC and uh, thus pass it. So I've got here a Titan One. And this plugs in directly into the uh, Brook adapter. And then I need this uh, mini B USB cable to plug in to the Brook adapter. And what that's gonna mean is I can plug this in. I plug this into the switch here. All right, so that goes in there. And then I plug this into my PC. And from this point, what I'm gonna be able to do is I'm gonna be able to connect via Parsec from my client machine to the host machine. And I'm gonna be able to send Xbox controls to this machine here. Then we use some clever software that came with the uh, Titan One to uh, send these controls through this cable into the Brook adapter, which says, hey, these are gonna be now switch controls. And then we start to get control happening on the switch. And then obviously to get the uh, video to come out, we send it across the HDMI cable. That displays on the host machine, and we use Parsec to capture that video and send it to the client machine. So when they press a button, 
pretty quickly they're going to see a video that shows them uh, doing the action they they put forward. So yeah, it's a it's a funny we set up, but it's really cool and it works super well. And I'll just show you the software next. All right, so we have all the software here we need to get started. So of course we've got Parsec running on the client machine and on the uh, host machine. We've got the Elgato screen capture software running there as well, and that's got an output of the uh, switch screen. And I also have uh, G-Tuner Pro installed, which came with the uh, Titan 1. And that has a plugin called Max Aim DI installed. So um, what we're going to do here is we're going to connect via Parsec from the client machine to the host. And then we're going to be able to make sure the controller is nice and configured and we'll be good to start playing. So I've just connected now and you can see on my uh, client machine, I can see the screen of my host. And so I'm just going to go over down to um, direct input and just check when I press controller buttons on the, on the controller, they appear in the Max Aim DI plugin. So that you can, uh, I can see now that they're doing that correctly. So I'm going to click OK. And I believe I've already mapped that controller, so it should be good to go. And I'm just going to go up here and make this full screen. And in a second, these menus will go away. But as you can see, I'm going to now be able to press input from my client machine over the network to Parsec sitting on the host machine and then send that to the Nintendo Switch. That's all really cool. So let me jump into Mario Kart and I can just show you how well it's working. So I'm going to go continue and I'm just going to start driving. And you can really see that the uh, client machine keeps up with the host and when I press buttons there, it goes around nicely. So there's no real lag or anything like that. Parsec does a really good job um, of making sure the video stream you see and all the controls you input um, work flawlessly. So I'm just going to go through here and as you can see, uh, my controller really keeps up. Everything works beautifully. So. Um, a really cool way to um, play remote play on the Nintendo Switch and uh, yeah, works lovely. We did it! Remote play on the Nintendo Switch streaming with Parsec. I can finally let my buddy log in and play a game of Mario Kart with me, no matter where he is. If you'd like to see more detail about specifically what we did here today, please visit the links in the video description below. And if you'd like to support us and help us make more videos like this, please like and subscribe. If you want to download and get started with Parsec right now, please head to our website parsec.tv. And until then, peace out.